Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me get my equipment straightened up here. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here again with you for another live stream class. Okay. However, before I do anything else, I need to know if you can see me and hear me so I know everything is a-okay. So if you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Do I see a Y-E-S? Okay, Helga, thank you so much. Mwah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Helga is in the house. Great, hello everyone. <clears throat> I'm here with you, and I'm feeling good. I hope you are feeling good. I hope you are happy. I hope you are comfortable, because we will be here for two hours together, you and me, two hours practicing English. So I hope you are comfortable and ready. And what we always do before we start, we have a toast for good luck. So let's do that. So if you're drinking something, Pick up your cup or glass or mug, whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast. And our first toast will be to the green team, the supporters. Yes, they make it happen. They support me. So um, by supporting me, they are supporting everyone. They are supporting the channel. You are here on my live stream because of the green team. Yes, the supporter. So let's give a big thank you to the green team. Thank you, green team. Cheers. Yes. If you don't have a beverage, fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Okay, here's to the green team. Let's have a drink. Mm. Ah, okay. Now, let's have our second toast. You, you are here with me. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you so much. So let's toast to you. Let's have a toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and wonderful lesson today. Cheers, everyone. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we have it, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Salute. Mm. Ah, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, Rita, hello. Tomas, hello. Fran, how are you doing? Oh, Rita's here. Marion's here. Thank you so much. And I, I thought I saw Mrs. G classroom earlier. And also, let's see. Yes, Emily is in the house. How are you doing, Emily? Okay, good. My green team, the supporters. Thank you so much for being here. And also, like I said, God, God. Hello, Vilmar. Hello, Vilmar. Kenneth, hello. Good, 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 good. Okay, well, I hope everyone is doing well. Okay, well, let's talk about today's lesson plan, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, let's do it. Let's talk about our lesson today. We will do a card guessing game. I'm going to give you clues. You're going to tell me what the card is. We will also do um, which one is which one is better all right which one is better so I'm gonna give you two options and you're gonna tell me which one you think is better all right and then um, we will do which one doesn't belong we haven't done this for a couple weeks which one doesn't belong I will give you four items and then you tell me of the four, which one doesn't belong with the other three? Okay, so which of the four doesn't belong? All right, then after that, we will do dictation cards and then a conversation between Joe and Sue, which is called Lolly's Revenge. Okay, so we're busy today. I hope you are ready. So let's get right to it, shall we? Yes, okay, let's get right to it. So let's do our um, card guessing, okay? So I have four cards. <laughs> Maybe you already know what I'm going to do. I think so. Okay, here we go. I have four cards. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to give you some clues, all right? <clears throat> oh, no! 
Oh no, where are my pens? My pens. I can't write without my pens. They're over there. I have to get them. Oh no, I forgot to get the pens before I started. Okay, that's okay because I have them right here in my hand. Here are the pens. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's do it, shall we? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so we have four cards. So um, what is it? What are they? Ah, that was not very good, was it? What are they? <coughs> okay, and then the answer, what is it? It's uh And then for the answer, what are they? They are. Okay, and we have four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what is it? Of course, for singular, one thing. What are they for? What are they? We use for plural nouns, more than one, right? <coughs> okay, so here we go. Can you guess? what it is from my clues, okay? So you're going to listen, I'm gonna give you some clues, and then you're going to tell me what it is, okay? Okay, good, here we go. All right. We need this to enter a sporting event, or a concert, or a movie theater, we need it, and it costs money. So first we, we, we give, we pay money, and then we receive this thing. It's usually made from paper, it's small, and then there is somebody waiting to take it before we can enter. And um, you need it if you want to enter a sporting event, like a basketball game or a football game, uh, or if you go to a movie theater, you need this to enter the movie theater. <laughs> yes. Or if you go to a concert, you need this to enter the concert. Also, if you fly on an airplane and before you enter the airplane, you need this. It, it's, it's payment to show. It shows that you had paid for it. Yes, you got it, you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a ticket. Yep, yep, it's a ticket. We did this, we're reviewing this, right? On Tuesday, we did these, right? On Tuesday. So this is review. Okay, good job. I have to get a magnet. Yep, so the first was a ticket. Okay, good, 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 ticket. All right, here we go. Number two. Hey, Patty, how you doing, Patty? And Dr. Ramirez, good, good, cheers. Cheers, Patty, cheers, Dr. Ramirez. All right, here we go. Um, card two. All right, so this is clothing. We wear this in summer. It, it, it shows your shoulders. So right now I'm wearing this shirt, but you can't see my shoulders, right? You can't see my shoulders. But this clothing, you can see your shoulders. And basketball teams use this style of clothing because they can move their arms very easily. Um, we wear this in summer, <laughs> in warm weather. You might wear it if you go to the beach. <laughs> yeah. Radu, how you doing, Radu? Okay, yeah, Helga, you guys, you remembered. You have a great memory, a great, re great memory from Tuesday. Um, okay, Rita, I want, it's a top, but what kind of top? Ringo, how you doing? Yeah, Dr. Maris, you got it. KVP, how are you doing? Hello, KVP. Marion, yes, you got it. It's good, Patty. You have it, Patty. 
Yeah, Rita, for sure, for sure, for sure. Alice, how are you doing? Vera, okay, good, good. Fran, okay, you guys got it. It's a tank top. Well done. You remembered. Whoop, I hope you didn't see that card. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. It's a tank top, right? Okay, here's our next card. And, <laughs> oh, Tomas thinks it's a funny word, tank top. Yeah, that is, I can, yeah, Tomas, I can, I can see that being a funny word. Tank top. Yeah, it, like why tank, right? I understand top, right? Because we have bottoms. We wear like, like shorts would be bottoms, um, pajama bottoms. We'll say if you're wearing pajamas, oh, these are my pajama bottoms. Top, of course, right? We're on our upper body, top. But why tank? Yeah, I don't know. That is, that is funny, huh? Hunt Tomas. Okay, here we go. Our third card, card number three. And the clues are, it's, it's, it lives in the water. Um, after you eat it, these are left over. So you can't eat them. If you eat them, maybe you're going to choke, right? So it, get, it might, if you eat it, it will stick in your throat and then you can't breathe. You won't, be able, you won't be able to breathe because it's going to stick in your throat. Um, we don't eat them. Um, they are very thin and um, nobody... It, it, they're so we enjoy the meat, but we don't enjoy these things because we can't eat them they're very thin and small and you have to like separate them and sometimes it could be um, troublesome right you have to chew you have to chew the meat very well because you don't want to eat these and so you take them out take them out so it it's it can be troublesome when you're eating it yes you got it good patty okay yes yes everyone they are fish bones. They are fish bones, right? Fish is great, but the bones are not great. <laughs> fish, I love the taste of fish, but I don't like picking the bones from the meat, right? That's the, that's the trouble with eating fish is um, the bones, right? Okay, fish bones. You got it. You guys remembered all the vocabulary. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. One more card. Card number four. And the clues are, it's, it's a, it could be a hobby for some people. Um, it can be a game for some people. Um, usually children do this, but adults like it too. So, so for example, for children, it's very easy. Uh, but for adults, it's very difficult because they're little pieces. And um, it's usually it's a picture, right? It's a picture, and there it's all separated, and you have to put the picture together. You have to put the picture together, and if if it's a big picture with many little pieces, it it's difficult, and it can take a long time. <laughs> and maybe we do this for a, on a rainy day if you can't go out and play. You might um, do this on a rainy day or if you have lots of free time or you want to just relax. This is a good activity to re relax to. If you just want to stay inside the house, relax, this can be um, a nice activity. Yes, okay, Patty. Yes, Dr. Maris. Marion, you guys got it. Yeah, it's a puzzle piece. Okay, good. Well done. It's a, whoops, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to, I hit the wrong button on my computer. Okay, we're good. Okay, yes, it's a puzzle piece. Good, 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 good. All right, that was review. What is it, right? What are they, right? Fish bones, there's an S, so what are they? They are fish bones. What is it? It's a ticket. What is it? It's a tank top. 
What are they? They are fish bones. What is it? It's a puzzle. It's a, it's a puzzle piece. Sorry, it's a puzzle piece. It's not the whole puzzle. It's just one piece, right? So, so what you, when you buy a puzzle, if you go into a, a, a store and you decide, okay, hey, today I want to um, make a puzzle. So you walk into the store, <coughs> and there's many different puzzles, right? Many different pictures, but it'll say you choose a puzzle on how many pieces, maybe, right? So a thousand pieces, whoa, that's, that's going to be a big puzzle. They're going to be small pieces. It's going to be a difficult puzzle. But let's say, oh, 50 pieces, oh, that's going to be easy. So, so we choose pu um, puzzles actually on the picture and how many pieces, right? So if you like the picture and um, if it has the right amount of pieces for you, right? It's like, oh, today I want to do an easy puzzle. So maybe you'll have a, a few pieces. Or, oh, today I want to do a difficult puzzle. So you choose one with many pieces. Okay, good, 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 good. Actually, sometimes I like to do puzzles and actually, f for me, like right now, Christmas is coming. And so, okay, I have um, two kids. And so it's like, okay, what am I going to get them for Christmas? And right now, like, I should get them a puzzle, right? So that, I just thought of a Christmas present for my children. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to buy them a puzzle for Christmas. Yeah, so I think that's a good gift, right? A puzzle, because maybe you personally, for yourself, maybe you wouldn't buy a puzzle, right? Or you don't think about it. But if somebody gave you a puzzle, maybe you would be happy. You go, oh, yeah, that's, this is a good idea. A and so then you have, like, um, especially winter here in Japan, it's winter, and it could be cold, right? And so, like, a cold cloudy day would be a good day to make a puzzle yeah so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get my kids a puzzle for christmas <laughs> okay yeah i just i would like a puzzle yeah so i think a puzzle would be is a good gift because who doesn't like making puzzles right you just need time oh vera my kids are 10 and 12 10, so they're elementary school, 10 and 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Yes, you need patience, right, for a puzzle. And it also depends on the picture, right? So, so you can get a puzzle if it's like, let's say, a wheat field. Oh, my God, because they all look the same. <laughs> so, um, or like a blue sky. Oh, man, how do you do that, right? So, of course... We, we start with the corners, right? You start building the puzzle from the corners, right? The outside, and you go in. So it really depends on um, the picture, right? So anyways. Yes, Radu, I'm, I am 15 years older than my wife. 15 years. <laughs> my poor wife. Oh, I feel bad for her. <laughs> okay, good job. So we did that. Yeah, we did um card guessing game. Now, let's do our next game. Our next activity is um which is better? Which is better? So I'm going to just um continue right here. I'm not going to erase the board right now. So I'll just put a line here. Okay, so our next activity is which is better? Which is better okay which which is better okay or okay for one thing right so so here like what is it it's a ticket it's a tank top however fish bones so if we do plural we want which are better so we if for for plurals we want are which are better okay so so we're gonna go which is better and which are better hey sunny how you doing good morning sunny okay here we go here's our first 
card. Okay, so in the chat, let's go number one. Because we're going to do a few cards. So let's go ahead and just say number one. All right, here's card number one. Which, okay, and this one is R. Which are better? Okay, so I want to know your opinion. I want to know how you feel. Oh, and why. That's right. Okay, so last time I didn't include why. And Rita, re, you know, Rita said, oh, and why. So I just remembered now. So, okay, so which is better? Which are better and why? So we want to know the reason, of course. Okay, and then here we go. Number one, card one. Okay, which are better and why? Here we go. Which are better, raspberries or blueberries? Which are better, raspberries or blueberries? I want to know your answer. Okay, which do you think? Which are better, raspberries or blueberries? Yeah, Gaga. So here we want to know which are, because raspberries and blueberries. So which are better, raspberries or blueberries, and why, and why? Sudanes, hello. Giovanni, hello, Giovanni. Welcome, Giovanni. Okay, which are better, raspberries or blueberries? I want to see your answer in the chat. You never ate what, KVP? Either? You've never had raspberries or blueberries? Come on, KVP. Tomas. Okay, good for eyes, but which? Okay, so, okay, okay. So Tomas has blueberries because... They are good for our eyes. That's good, Tomas. So, so Tomas' answer is blueberries because they are better for our eyes. Helga says raspberries are better than blueberries because they are tastier and don't color our tongue. <laughs> yes, good one. Yeah, b blueberries, like, like, if, if you take them out of the bag to put them in, like I put them, I use blueberries in my oatmeal. And so after I put the blueberries in my oatmeal, my hands are blue from the blueberries. <laughs> okay, Alice, I'm not asking you. Uh, you have to choose one. That's the game. You have to choose one. Dr. Mara says blueberries are better because they are anti-aging. Okay, good. Giovanni says, um, blueberries are better. Why? Why, Giovanni? Why and why? Okay, Jaffra says, I prefer raspberries to blueberries. Why, 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 why? Why, why, why? Why do you prefer that? Friend says, um, I prefer blueberries because I do not like pepins. Peppins. What are peppins? I'm not sure, friend. What are peppins? Huh, Vilmar? No clue. What? Come on. Raspberries and blueberries. Which one is better? Okay, Rita says, my opinion is raspberries because I love raspberry jam. Okay, so Rita likes raspberries because she likes raspberry jam. That's a good answer. Gaga says blueberries are better because they provide more vitamins. Okay, good. Radu says, I believe blueberries are better just because they are slightly cheaper as far as I am concerned. They are both beneficial to your health anyway. Nice, Radu. I like it. I like it. Okay, G Giovanni says, because this taste is... Okay, so Giovanni, I forgot, you, you prefer blueberries because they taste better. Okay, good. Mich Macha, hello. Raspberries are better because 
they're more natural. Lyon says blueberries are better because it has a lot of benefits, especially for diabetic people. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting, interesting, good. Vera says raspberries are better because they have a delicious taste. They have a delicious taste. Haita says, I prefer blueberries because I am gonna, I'm going to make blueberry cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. Oh, Pepin's is beans. Okay, but these are fruit. <laughs> Fran, these are fruit. Raspberries and blueberries are not beans. Tomas, we have raspberries in our garden but we do not have blueberries. Same, me too, Tomas. I have raspberries in my house, or in front of my house. I don't really have a garden, but I have some dirt space. <laughs> and I have a raspberry bush there. And twice a year, I get fresh raspberries from my, uh, from, from my gar I don't know, raspberry bush. I don't have a garden, from my raspberry bush. So twice a year, I get fresh raspberries from my bush but i i i like it's hard to hard to, to decide but i prefer blue or raspberries i prefer raspberries i like more raspberries have a more sour taste they they have more of yeah like a, a a crisper taste more a little more sour so actually i prefer raspberries myself okay good everyone lots of good answers Lots of good reasons. I saw many reasons, and that was really good. So that was great. I like, I really, like I always say, I enjoy um, seeing your ideas. I enjoy seeing your opinions. Okay, here we go. Number two, which, which is better? Which is better? Here we go. Okay, this, this can be interesting. Which is better, a DVD at home or going to the theater? Which is better, a DVD at home or going to the theater? One more time. <coughs> this is two. And why? So why? Which is better, a DVD at home or going to the theater? And why? Which is better, a DVD at home or going to the theater? Larissa, how you doing? Larissa is in the house. Good to see Larissa. Mwah. Okay, two. Which is better? A DVD at home or going to the theater? Okay, um, I want to see your answers in the chat. And why? Why, 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 why? Which, which is better, a DVD at home or going to the theater? Which is better and why? Of course, we want to know the reason. Why, 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 why? Okay, Radu's on the board. Radu says, I prefer a DVD at home when I am not viewing a movie in the theater. I prefer a... Okay, Radu, you didn't tell me why. <laughs> okay, Giovanni says, I prefer going to the theater because I like being with people. Okay, Giovanni, good answer. I enjoy being with people, B-E-I-N-G, being with people. Okay, good, good. Helga, going to the theater is better because you can watch a play or live actors. Okay, I mean movie theater, I'm sorry. This, this is, okay, sorry, sorry. Movie theater, I didn't write. So, yeah, no, no, movie theater. Not, not, not movie theater, not seeing a play, not seeing a concert. 
um, seeing a movie, so a movie theater. Which is better, a DVD at home or going to the movie theater? I'm sorry, movie theater. Let's do movie theater. Okay, Fran says, I prefer going to the theater because I like the ambience. Yeah, the ambience, You're right? So th the, the big screen, the sound, you're in the dark, the ambience. Yeah, good, good, good. Help, please. How do you pronounce the one? The one, the the, the 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 one so you want we for the th sound we want to put our tongue between our teeth the 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 one the one the one it's the one <laughs> it's the one and only yes it's the one i am talking about it's that one no it's this one no it's the one <laughs> okay I per, okay, Alice, I prefer D, a DVD at home because, because, oh, I can put it on pause and then resume. Yes, you have control, right? That's great, Dora. No, 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 Alice, Alice, that's Alice. So yeah, so when you're watching a DVD at home, you have control, right? You can stop it and maybe go to the bathroom, stop it, get something to drink, and then resume it when you're... Uh, sitting down again. Good, good answer. Yes. Helga, uh, DVD at home is better because it is more convenient. You don't have to get in your car, drive somewhere. You don't have to go to a mall, right? It's more convenient in your home. Larissa, I'm um, going to the theater because I like live performance and meeting with artists. Yeah, okay, but this is movie theater. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't um, specify at the beginning, I'm sorry. Movie theater, we're talking movie theater. Ah, Jeffrey says, I prefer watching DVD at home because I am a couch potato. <laughs> and says DVD is better at home because it's dangerous to go out now. Yeah, so movie theater is not, I, I'm not going to the movie theater. I haven't been to the movie theater like in a year <laughs> so i'm not going to the theater that is yeah no 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 dr or dr g mrs g how you doing how you doing okay fran says um in the theater the feeling is strong yeah radu i prefer having a dvd at home because i can lay while watching the movie yeah lay down for sure paul i prefer going to the theater because it gives a better effect than dvd of course the quality is better in the theater for sure for sure yeah cinema that's right helga movie theater equals cinema so americans say movie theater more often use movie theater more than cinema so i'm american so we we usually say movie theater in America. Okay, okay, good job. Let's do one more. Oh, oh, my answer, I prefer the movie theater because of the, the quality is better. But for now, because of the, of the pandemic, I'm not going to a movie theater, no. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. No way. No way. No way. I'm not going to a movie theater right now. At these days, I'm not going. In the future, I want to go back. I prefer. I like. I like going to the movie theater for for entertainment. So I think I enjoy for entertainment. I enjoy going out to a restaurant, eating out, and I also enjoy going to the movie theater for entertainment. But right now. Not doing the movie theater, no. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go three. Okay, let's do one more. I'm looking at the clock, so I have to be careful about the time. Okay, here's interesting. This, this one's always controversial. Well, we, I think this, we always have um, different opinions, 
right? Well, all, all these, I've been, we've been getting different opinions, which is great. But this one, th this particular um, two things are always kind of 50-50, I think. Okay, here we go. Number three, card number three. Which is better, cake or ice cream? <laughs> one more time. Which is better, cake or ice cream? One more time. Which is better, cake or ice cream? Whoa, what do you think? Which is better, cake or ice cream? This is, this is controversial. No, no, it's not controversial. It, it's, I, I think there's, you know, the, the same amount of people like cake, prefer cake. The same amount of people prefer cake. And I think the same amount of people prefer ice cream. So it's always like split in half. Which is better, cake or ice cream? Which is better? This is three. And why? Why? Don't forget why. We can't forget why. Which is better? Why? Cake or ice cream? Ah, Helga. Helga prefers ice cream because it's more delicious. Well, KVP, why? Ice cream, ice cream. Wow, 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 wow. Uh-oh, I, I thought we would be already divided, but I'm seeing ice cream, ice cream. I'm seeing another ice cream. Ice cream again. Dora has ice cream. Wow, no cake yet? I thought we would go cake, ice cream, cake, ice cream. I thought we'd go 50, 50, half and half. Well, ice cream again. Wow, ice cream is better because it's cold. What? Najee, hello. Okay, we have a cake on the board. Okay, <laughs> Radu prefers cake because of the texture. Because Right, so eating cake, the cream and the fluffiness. That's a good one. Okay, we got back, we're back at ice cream. Wow, ice cream is winning. Wow, wow, wow. Ice cream again. Ice cream again. Paul says ice cream is better, though cake is better in winter. Wait, no, you have to choose one. I don't want to, you, you're, you can't go on the fence like that. Okay, we got cake. Anne has cake. Okay. <laughs> we have ice cream again. We have ice. Wow, ice cream is winning out here in the chat right here. Gaga has ice cream. More flavors. That's a good uh, that's a good answer. But many yeah, but many kinds of cakes too. Lots of cakes. You go to a cake shop and boo, there's a lot of cake. Tomas, cake. Okay, Tomas has cake. Giovanni, ice cream. Lion, ice cream. Wow, ice cream is winning out. Ice cream again, Rita, because it's refreshing. Rita says ice cream because it's refreshing. Okay. Fluffiness. <laughs> Fluffiness. <laughs> Dr. Ramirez has ice cream. Wow. Larissa, cake. Because most of the time it's cold in Moscow. Oh, okay. So in Moscow, maybe ice cream is not a big seller in Moscow because year round it's cold in Moscow. Fran has ice cream. Okay, looks like, looks like we got ice cream is the big winner here. Mitch Matcha. Cake, because I usually like drinking coffee with some... Oh, so uh, Mitch Matcha prefers cake because um, cake and coffee go together. Yeah, that's great. That's a, uh, that's a good answer. Uh, and Jeffrey says, cake because... Jeffrey can make it at home. That's a good answer. 
Alice prefers cake because um, it's a, a dinner dessert. Cakes are really important for Christmas. Okay, so this is like um, Christmas is the cake season. All right. Marion, I prefer ice cream because uh, it cools me down. So Marion's very hot. So Marion needs ice cream to cool down. All right. Paul, cake is better because cake has more flavor, very yummy. Patty likes chocolate cake. I do too. Tomas, I usually eat cake with milk. Milk and cookies, milk and cake. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I think... I think ice cream is like, when we're getting some cakes now, but I think that, I think that ice cream won. I think ice cream beat out cake. Wow. Okay. Well, I thought it'd be more, I thought it'd be more even, but not, apparently not. Now, for me, my answer is ice cream <laughs> because... So my reason is because there, I've never really tasted bad ice cream. So like for cake, you can have bad cake, right? You can have really good cake. You go to a, a professional bakery or, you know, a cake shop and you get like a good piece of cake, right? Like, oh, this, this cake is really good. But you can also get like kind of bad cake. You know, if you go to maybe a a cheap restaurant or you go to the supermarket and you can get kind of maybe you can get a bad tasting cake right but ice cream you can go to an expensive ice cream shop and have delicious ice cream you go to a supermarket and get delicious ice cream I have never tasted bad ice cream <laughs> I've tasted some bad cake but never I have never tasted bad ice cream <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right. Um, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. So I'm saying all right too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try not to. It, it's hard when you're online or on when I'm live and I'm just talking to the camera. It's easy to repeat yourself. It's easy to stutter or say, you know, you know, or uh-huh, 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 all right, all right, all right. It's easy to do that because I am talking to the camera. There's no one talking back to me. So that's the difficult thing about doing live stream lessons is being careful of what, how you are talking, right? not pausing too much, using these pauses like, uh-huh, or let's see, all right, right? So just repeating the same words, it, it's difficult. It's a challenge. So I'm always thinking about that, Radu. I'm always thinking about not saying like, all right, all right, all right, or uh-huh, uh-huh, things like that. So it's... That's the difficult thing about doing these live stream lessons. Okay, good. All right, good job, everyone. Well, let's do our next activity, which is which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? All right, so I'm gonna give you four items. We haven't done this for a few weeks. So there's gonna be four items, and then you're gonna choose, of the four, you're gonna choose one that doesn't belong and tell me why, all right? So again, I'm gonna just stay on this board, all right? I just said all right, didn't I? <laughs> I'm going to, I got room right here. So I'm gonna write our activity on the board. I'll put another line right here, yeah. And then the name is, which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't 
be long and why? All right. Oh, I just said all right again. <laughs> at, least, at least now I know I have to be conscious of that. I have to realize not to say all right too many times. <laughs> Which one doesn't belong and why? You're going to give me the, the word. You're going to give me the thing. And then you're going to say, because. Which one doesn't belong and why? Mrs. G, you're not bad at any of these. You're not bad at any of these. Mrs. G Classroom is a pro. She's a pro. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Our four items. Are you ready? I'm going to tell you four things, and you're going to tell me which one doesn't belong and why. Here we go. Number one. Let me put one so we keep track. <clears throat> Number one. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. A saw, an axe, a knife, a hammer. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? One more time. A saw, an axe, a knife, a hammer. Those are the four things. A saw. An axe, a knife, a hammer. Which one doesn't belong and why? And I will show you the picture, but not right now. I want you to, to listen carefully and think about these items, okay? Okay, Radu has hammer, but Radu, why? You have to say because. That, that's the challenge, right? That's, that's You have to use English to explain your reason, right? That's, that's the difficulty. Helga, a hammer because it can't cut. Nice answer. So let me say it one more time. A saw, an axe, a knife, and a hammer. And Helga, great because a saw cuts wood. An axe chops a tree or wood, right? It cuts. A knife will cut food, but a hammer does not. Very good. Yeah, Dr. Maris, good. A hammer because it can't cut. Oh, hello, Kumara. Sorry. <laughs> Sunet. Sunet. Hello, Sunet. All right. Oh, I just said all right again. Sylvia, ice cream is not good for me because it's dangerous for teeth. <laughs> Yeah, and calories, lots of calories, right? Ice cream. Mrs. G says, a hammer doesn't belong because the other tools are used to cut things and a hammer doesn't. Yes. Tomas, a hammer because we hit something with it. Or we, we yeah, we hit something with it. Yeah, like a nail, right? Good. Ken is a hammer because it can't cut. That seems to be the popular answer. Jaffrey, a hammer because it doesn't it doesn't work with different items. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Jaffrey. Okay, Hannah, a knife because it is usually because it is usually used in the kitchen. Good, yes. We don't use an axe in a kitchen. No, we don't use a hammer in a kitchen. No, we don't use a saw in the kitchen. No, we don't. But we use a knife in the kitchen. Good answer. I like it. I like it. I like different answers. Great, great. Gaga. Whoops. Okay, did I? Okay. Men. I can't have both because I like cake and ice cream. <laughs> you have to choose one, cake or ice cream. Vilmar, axe. No, 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 not ox, axe. Vilmar, axe, chop. 
chop, chop, axe. Oh, Rita. Rita. Rita says a saw because it has teeth. Yes, we, so, we call those teeth. <coughs> Rita, that is fantastic. Mwah. That's a great answer. A saw has teeth. It's like jagged where an axe is, is um, smooth, has a blade. A knife has a blade and a hammer has a flat space but not a saw. A saw, it has teeth. We call those teeth. <coughs> Nicely done, Rita. Very, very good. Oh, Dia says, a hammer because it can smash. Smash, smash, smash. Yeah. A hammer, okay. Dang says, hammer because we use it, we use it with nails. We use it with nails. Yeah, Tomas, axe. I'm going to show you the pictures. Hello, MD. Thank you, MD. Thank you for your kind support. Okay. Let, I'm going to show you the picture. I need a pencil because I want to put today's date so I don't make a mistake. Last time, I showed you the same ones. Right? I don't want to do that. So I'm going to. I will show you the pictures right now. But right now I'm going to put today's date, which is December 11th, 12-11. We just did these. We'll do one more set. But I need to cover. I need to cover the lower ones because I don't want you to see the pictures yet. So I need. Ah. So I'm going to cover cover the bottom the ones we haven't done yet we've the upper ones we've already done we did those last month okay here we go here are okay so we have a saw an axe a knife and a hammer one more time a saw an axe a knife and a hammer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I liked, everyone, I liked your answers. Um, I liked the knife because it's used in the kitchen. I liked Rita's a lot. A saw because it has teeth. Also a good one, of course. A hammer because it doesn't cut. So those are all great answers. Dr. Mare says hammer because it has a double function. Yes, it has a double function because on one end, it has the flat end where you can pound things like a hammer or like a nail, hit things. And the other side has like a fork where you can take things out. So there's the, the flat, the head, and then the prong like a prong, it's a prong, and you can, you can separate things, separate. So it does have a, a double function, which is great. Okay, let's do one more, all right? Here we go. I'm gonna put the date already because we're doing it right now. Okay, here we go. Which one doesn't belong and why? Here we go, one more set. This is set two, all right? Here we go. A horse, a pig, a rabbit, and a tiger. One more time. A horse, a pig, a rabbit, and a tiger. Which one doesn't belong and why? A horse, a pig, a rabbit, and a tiger. <laughs> Which one doesn't belong and why? Tell me in the chat. Which one doesn't belong and why? A horse, a pig, a rabbit, and a tiger. Which one doesn't belong and why? So number one, let, let's put the answer here for one. Let, let's have, I'm going to put, I like Rita, so I'm going to put a saw because it has teeth.
Okay, two, we're doing that right now. Whoops. Whoops, because, 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 because. Uh, let me write that again, because. All right, here we go. Two, a horse, a pig, a rabbit, and a tiger. Which one doesn't belong and why? I want to see your answer. Why, why, why is most important. Helga, a tiger, because it is a predator. Yes. A rabbit is not a predator. No, no, no. A pig is not a predator. A horse is not a predator. Very good. I like it. I like that answer. Okay. Oh, Jeffrey has rabbit because they walk on two feet. A rabbit? No, 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 no. They don't, rabbits don't walk on two feet. They, they hop on two feet, maybe. Maybe they hop with their back feet. So, okay, how about this? This is a good answer. Who, who, I gotta go back. Oh, Jeffrey, this is a better, this is better. A rabbit, because they hop. Right? A horse does not hop. A pig does not hop. A tiger does not hop. But a rabbit hops, right? So I like that answer. A rabbit hops. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cecilia, a, the tiger doesn't belong because it's a fiercer animal, even a con um, kind of a carnivore it's a carnivore vera i think tiger because it's a predator yep gaga among these animals only the tiger is an exotic animal exotic yes wild yes wild because a rabbit can be a pet right we can have a pet we can have a rabbit in our house we can have a pig in our house, right? A little pot belly pig. Some people have pet pigs. And a horse, right? We could ride a horse. We could have it next to our house. But not a tiger. Don't put a tiger in your house. No, don't do that. <laughs> good one, good one. Fran says, a tiger because it is wild animal. Yeah. Dang, a pig because we can eat pig meat. Yes. Well, here in Japan, people eat horse. But yeah, so pig, pork is very popular, right? Paul has a pig because it is not smart. The others are smart. Really, I think, no, Paul, I think a pig is smart. A rabbit may not be smart. Of course, a horse is smart. A tiger is smart. I think a pig is smart, too. I'm not sure. I don't know too much about pigs, but um, I, I'm pretty sure... The rabbit is the dumbest <laughs> of the four, right? Oh, there's another answer. A rabbit because it is the dumbest. <laughs> uh, okay. Lion says a tiger doesn't belong because the we don't eat its meat. Yeah. So a tiger because we don't eat its meat. Right? We can eat horse meat. We can eat pig meat. And we can eat rabbit meat, but we don't eat tiger meat. No. Oh, Larissa, I like it. Larissa has rabbit because it is little. A horse is big, a pig is big, and a tiger is big. But a rabbit is little. Good, good, good. Sewu's in the house. How you doing, Sewu? Hello, hello, Sewu. A tiger because it hunts other animals. Yeah, it's a predator. That's right. It hunts other animals because it is a predator. Very good. Very good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to put... Actually, I like the rabbit answer because it hops. <laughs> I, like, I like to see rabbits hop. I like seeing that. So, good answers, everyone. I'm going to put... A rabbit because it hops. I like watching rabbits hop. <laughs> a rabbit 
because it hops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good answers. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. I'm going to show you the animals, but I have to cover the bottom. We have one more set. We'll do that next time. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you our four animals, a horse, a pig, a rabbit, and a tiger. A horse, a pig, a rabbit, and a tiger. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, Diaz, a tiger because it has sharp teeth. Very good. Yes. Don't mess with tiger's teeth. No, 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 no. They will hurt you bad. Ah, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. I like tiger's looks. Beautiful and gives me more prestige than the rabbit. Yeah. So, okay. That's a great answer. A tiger because of its look of its look yeah tiger because of its look yeah good one good one okay well done everyone yeah we did three activities right now these were fun these were fun we did card guessing game yeah we i gave you clues and you guessed what these were we did which one is better you gave your opinion i asked you i gave you two items and you chose which one was better, and then we did which one doesn't belong. Four items, and you decided which one doesn't belong in the group and why. So this was like great, great English practice. I also thought it was fun, and it expressed your ideas. It expressed your opinion, and that's what communication is all about, right? Communication is about expressing your opinion, what you think about things, and that, w that what makes an interesting conversation, right? So we're here to practice conversation. We're here to practice our English. And by becoming interesting and expressing your ideas, you can um, make a wonderful conversation with other people. And they will enjoy speaking with you because you have an opinion. It's interesting. You say, why? I feel, I think this is better because I think this doesn't belong because, right? So um, nice, nicely done. All right, we're going to do dictation cards now. Dictation cards right here. Before we do dictation cards, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard so you can check it out anytime you want to. I'm opening my camera right now. And there is the camera is on. So I'm going to step over behind. I'm going to step over here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go. Count down. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got, I got the picture. So after today's class, I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you can check it out anytime you want to. And if the links are below in the descriptions, right? So the, the link to my Facebook group page is there. How to become a member is there. Everything is in the description. My books are there. So please check everything out. Okay, now it's time for dictation cards. Yes, dictation cards right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Yes, and you need a pencil and paper, okay? Pencil and paper, and please listen and write down what I say word for word, all right? So this is listening practice, and actually we're gonna have, we're going to do three steps. Yeah, three, four, three, four, maybe four steps, let's do four steps. Step one, Dictation. Step two, shadow. Step three, on your own. And step four, quiz. 
All right, and, and this would just be a short quiz, maybe three cards. So we're going to do dictation. So this is where you need to listen and write down what I say word for word. And our topic is countryside and countries. Countryside, country. Countryside, country. All right, so countryside is out where there are not many people. You might see lots of, you know, grass. You'll see lots of trees. You won't see many houses. You won't see many people. You won't see many roads. You won't see many buildings, right? You're going to see land. You're going to see green. <laughs> You're going to see mountains. You're going to see water, maybe a lake, river. You're going to see trees. You will not see many people. You will not see many houses. You will not see many buildings. Countryside, all right? Country, right? We know country. For example, Brazil is a country. Japan is a country. The United States is a country. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, rural. Good, Radu. Thank you. Countryside is rural. Rural. All right? So not many people, not many houses, not many buildings, not many roads, uh, not many, just nature. Mostly nature. Mostly nature. Mostly trees and mountains and rivers and lakes. Okay, that's what we're doing today, all right? I'm going to, I have four cards for countryside and four cards for countries, but I'm going to mix them up. So I'm going to shuffle them up. So, so countryside and country is separate or they're together. Urban, no. So urban, Sewu, is the city center. Urban is the city center, urban is, there are many buildings, <laughs> many people, many roads, many cars, many things. So, so say well, urban is opposite of countryside. Rita says countryside is better for relaxing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Gaga asks, village and countryside the same? Yeah, village is a village is usually in the countryside. Yeah, yeah. I'll say yeah. I'll say that because maybe in a village there aren't many people, not many roads, not many buildings, right? And around it there's lots of land. Okay, I'll do that. Countryside zero carbon. N okay, good. Say countryside. There, there are people in the countryside, countryside, so I wouldn't say zero, zero carbon. You can live in the countryside. But for sure, less carbon because there are fewer people, fewer buildings, fewer cars, fewer roads, fewer people, right? Okay, let's do it. So are you ready? You have a pencil. Do you have paper? Okay, here we go. There are eight cards. I'm going to read each card three times. I'm going to read each card three times. You will not see. You will not see the picture. You will not see the sentence. You will only listen and write. So it's a challenge. Here we go. A village is the city wannabe. <laughs> Radu, Radu, don't be mean to the, don't be mean to the village, okay, Radu? Okay, here we go. Card number one, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, card number one. I'm from the countryside. I'm from the countryside. 
I'm from the countryside. Card number two. The Andes Mountains are in South America. The Andes Mountains are in the are in South America. The Andes Mountains are in South America. Card number three. Let's picnic in the countryside. Let's picnic in the countryside. Let's picnic in the countryside. Card number four. The Amazon River flows through Brazil. The Amazon River flows through Brazil. The Amazon River flows through Brazil. Card number five. She grew up in the countryside. She grew up in the countryside. She grew up in the countryside. Okay, card number six. I like driving to the countryside. I like driving to the countryside. I like driving to the countryside. Card number seven. Vatican City is the smallest country. Vatican City is the smallest country. Vatican City is the smallest country. Okay, card number eight, last card. Canada has the longest coastline. Canada has the longest coastline. Canada has the longest coastline coastline okay that was dictation time okay good 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 that was dictation we did it right you listened and wrote down what i said word for word now shadowing this is when you're listening and speaking at the same time not writing but speaking this is speaking practice <clears throat> so you're going to listen and speak at the same time as I do, all right? You won't repeat after me. You will speak at the same time. You're using two skills, your listening skills and speaking skills at the same time. Input, output, input, output at the same time. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Okay, here we go. Card number one, speaking practice, shadowing. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm from the countryside. 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 This is, I'm from, that's where you, you, you were born, all right? You were born there. I'm from the countryside. That was, that is where you were born. Okay, card number two. The Andes Mountains are in South America. The Andes Mountains are in South America. The Andes Mountains are in South America. 
The Andes Mountains are in South America. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay, card number three. Let's picnic in the countryside. 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 Yes, I like picnicking. Picnic in the countryside, right? Lots of space. It's green. It's a nice place to have lunch outside is in the countryside. <laughs> okay, card number four. The Amazon River flows through Brazil. 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 So flows meaning run, it moves, right? A river is moving, right? The water moves. So it water flows. The water, water, we 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 walk. I'm walking, walking. Water flows. All right? The water flows. The Amazon River flows through Brazil. It goes through Brazil. The Amazon River goes through Brazil. The largest river in the world. All right, five. She grew up in the countryside. 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 All right, now, the first card, I'm from, that's where you were born. So maybe you were born there and you moved soon. I'm from the countryside. That's where you were born. Grew up, grow up, meaning you, you were a child and you went to school there. So you grow up. So that's like when you were in school, school age. All right, school age. I grew up in the countryside. I went to school there. That's where child to maybe a young adult. Then you can move from the countryside. But you grew up, that means you went to elementary school, junior high school, high school. All right, there. So I grew up in the countryside. Okay, now we're at number six. Here we go. Card number six. Six, seven, yeah, six. I like driving to the countryside. 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 Because maybe the, the scenery is beautiful. The roads are long. No, no stop signs. No s traffic signals. Easy driving. Beautiful scenery. So driving in the countryside is, is very pleasurable, right? I enjoy it too. I enjoy driving in the countryside for sure. I like driving to the countryside. All right, number seven, number seven. Oh, Dr. Mara says, Mark, can I say the river runs through? Yeah, yep, yep. You can, yep, runs, flows. Thank you, Dr. Maris. Yes, so we can also say, for example, the Amazon River runs through Brazil. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Number seven. Vatican City is the smallest country. Vatican City is the smallest country. Vatican City is the smallest country. Vatican City is the smallest country country. Vatican City, that is where the Pope lives. It's in Italy, and it's a country. <laughs> it's a country in a country. So Vatican City is in Italy, which is its own country. 
Vatican City is the smallest country. All right, here we go. Card number eight, last one. Canada has the longest coastline. 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 So the coastline is on the ocean. So the Canada, the, the land, so next to the ocean, that's the coastline. So land next to the ocean, to the ocean is a coastline. So Canada has the longest coastline. Canada has the longest coastline. Okay, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did it. We did shadowing practice. You just had speaking practice. Good, good, good. All right. Now it's time to do it on your own. Yeah. So let's, we're going to take turns saying these sentences. I will say it, then you will say it. I will say it, then you will say it. However, when you say the sentence, you're going to not see it. You're just going to say the sentence based on the picture. All right? It's a challenge. However, when I say it, I will see the sentence. But when it's your turn, I will cover the sentence. You have to say the sentence based on the picture only. All right? All right. <gasps> I, ke I said all right twice. Uh-oh. I have to be careful about how many times I say all right. I don't want to overuse that word. <laughs> that is almost like stuttering. I have to think about it. I need to think about it. All right. Here we go. On your own. Take turns. I will say it, then you will say it. I will say it, then you will say it. Let's do it. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. On your own. Here we go. Let me move the coffee out of the way. Here we go. Please. I'm going to go, then you go. So I'm first. I'm from the countryside. Now it's your turn. I'm from the countryside. I'm from the countryside. I'm from the countryside. The Andes Mountains are in South America. 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 Let's picnic in the countryside. 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 Oh, Giovanni has a question about the Zoom. Giovanni, for the members, and there are different levels to membership. There's the starter, level which is the lowest level and then there's standard which is the second level for standard we do a zoom S so once a month and for example next week we will have a zoom meeting so once a month for for the members who are at the standard and above level we do a zoom meeting and um you can you can see that if, if you hit the join button, it'll, there'll be a description of different levels and the, the um, extra content for those levels. So please check it out. All right, here we go. Next. The Amazon River flows through Brazil. The 
The Amazon River flows through Brazil. 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 Mwah. That is for doc Dr. G. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. G Classroom. I don't know why am I, I, I've been doing that lately, calling you Dr. G. Maybe that's a good name, Dr. G Classroom. <laughs> that's more, that's more hip. Dr. G Classroom, how's that? <laughs> Mrs. Rem Mrs. G, thank you so much. Mwah, really, really appreciate your kind, kind support. I will send you the cards. Yes, okay, great, great. Thank you for your support. Always too generous. Mrs. G is too generous. I really, really appreciate your kind support. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. A big kiss to Mrs. G Classroom. Mwah, appreciate it. All right, all right. She gets the cards. If you want these cards, you give me a sticker like what Mrs. G did, and I will also send you cards in a PDF file. All right, let's continue, shall we? Yeah, it is catchy, huh? Dr. G Classroom. I like it, Dr. G Classroom. <laughs> okay, here we go. Our next card. She grew up in the countryside. Now it's your turn. She grew up in the countryside. <laughs> Thank you, Gaga. Miss, uh, Mrs. G. <laughs> she grew up in the countryside. Maybe Mrs. G grew up in the countryside too. I don't know. Maybe she did. She grew up in in the countryside. She grew up in the countryside. She grew up in the countryside. She grew up in the countryside. I grew up at the beach. I grew up at the beach. I grew up at the beach. She grew up in the countryside. All right, here we go. Our next card. I'm blah, blah, blah. I like driving to the countryside. 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 Vatican City is the smallest country. Vatican City is the smallest country. Vatican City is the smallest country. Vatican City is the smallest country country Vatican City is the smallest country Canada has the longest coastline Canada has the longest coastline Canada has the longest coastline. Yes, the Pacific. That's right, Tomas. I, I have swam in the Pacific many, many times. Surfed there too. Canada has the longest coastline. Canada has the longest coastline. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Nicely done. That was on your own. Very good, very good. Now, we have one more activity, which is a quiz for you, yeah? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the, I'm going to shuffle the cards. Hold on, I have to do some. Yeah, okay. Um, I have to shuffle the cards. Then I will choose three cards. I want you to, to write the sentence in the chat, please. I want you to write the sentence in the chat, all right? All right. Oh, no, I said all right again. Whew. All right. How about I'll say, okay, okie dokie, okie dokie. I'll say, okie dokie. I'll try not to say, all right. I will try to say, okie dokie instead. Okie dokie. <laughs> all right. Ah, I just said, all right. I can't help it. Here we go. Please write the sentence in the chat. Please write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? Please write it in the chat. It's the quiz for you. It's a quiz for you. Please. Esther. Esther is Korean. Esther grew up in Korea. Esther is from Korea. All right, here we go. Okay, Radu. Thank you, Radu. I try to, you guys give me feedback. You guys give me criticism, which I'm, I'm happy, right? I want to hear about what you think about my lessons and what you think about my channel, what you think about my live stream. So I, I, I appreciate your feedback. So when you say, oh, Mark, you're saying all right too much, I want to hear that because I, I want to make this better for everyone. So if I keep saying the same word over and over and maybe it's not professional, so I, I appreciate that. Radu. So thank you. All right, let me look. She grew up in the countryside, Fran. Emily, she grew up in the countryside. Tomas, she grew up in the countryside. Okay. Oh, I yeah, I said okay. <laughs> I didn't say all right. I said okay. Marion, good. Larissa, good. Okay, Rita. She grew up in the countryside. Very well. Very good. Very good. Quiz number, this card number two. Thank you, Helga. <laughs> Thank you, Radu. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Oh, I just did it again. <laughs> I say, you're right. I, I do say that a lot. So I, that's good to know, right? It's good to know. I, I, I don't feel bad. I'm not taking offense. I, I'm happy for that. I'm happy to hear that. So I need to be aware of what I say. A lot of times, it, maybe for a lot of people, we're not aware of what we say, the words we choose to say. So it's very important to be aware of what you are saying. So you are making me aware. So I'm, I'm, I appreciate that. Okay, card number two, quiz. Card number two, what is the sentence? Please write the sentence. I'm going to try not to say that word anymore today. I'm not going to say that word anymore today. It's a challenge for me. It's my challenge. I'm not going to say that word any longer today. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> can I do it? What is the sentence, please? Thank you, Radu. I appreciate that. I really do. It helps me, and it helps everyone. It helps the channel, so I, I do appreciate that. 
No, that's not correct. BS. I'm not going <laughs> to. BS. That's your name. I'm going to just say BS. Helga. Radu. The, Andy Mount, the Andes Mountains are in South America. Helga. The Andes Mountains are in South America. Diaz. The Andes Mountains are in South America. Good. Dr. Maris, the Andes Mountains are in South America. No, Emily. Marion, the Andes Mountains are in South America. Good. Tomas, the Andes Mountains are in South America. They, they touch many countries in South America. Good, good, Emily. Good, good, good. Yeah, so I'm going to say BS. I'm not going <laughs> to say... I'm not going to say your full name there. Okay, Tomas. The Andes Mountains are in South America. Very good. The Andes Mountains are in South America. Very good. Let's do one more. This is our last card for the quiz. Here we go. Please write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? Please tell me the sentence in the chat. Yeah, Tomas, Peru. I think they're in Chile. Chile? Maybe Peru, Chile, I think another country too. Radu, let's picnic in the countryside. Very good. If anyone knows, if you know which countries the Andes go through, please write in the chat. Which countries do the Andes go through? Giovanni, let's picnic in the countryside. Maria, let's picnic in the countryside. Good. Emily, let's picnic in the countryside. Very good. Fran, let's picnic in the countryside. Diaz, let's picnic in the countryside. Very good, everyone. Yeah, Giovanni, let's. Larissa, let's picnic in the countryside. Michelle, Brazil. Okay, so maybe they touch, the Andes touch Chile, Peru, Brazil. Three, three countries? Very good. Let's picnic in the countryside. Well done. Yes, that was our quiz that was our quiz you did it we did dictation we did shadowing you did it on your own and you took a quiz that's lots of practice for you woohoo and dr g classroom gets the cards she sent me a sticker so i'm going to send her the cards yes i will Help me so I can help you. That's how it works around here. Support each other. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Whoa, Dr. Maris. There you go. The Andes is a very long chain of mountains. A chain of mountains. Argentina, Chile, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela, not Brazil. Very, very interesting. One more time. The Andes touch Argentina, Chile, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela. Is that true? Really, Dr. Ramirez? 
The Andes touches all those, but not Brazil. That's basically all the countries in South America. Oh, oh, Larissa, we have Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Bolivia. What's that? Four countries. Let, let's, let's do our fact checking. Which countries does the Andes touch? Emily, what are we learning? Well, <laughs> we're practicing our English. What are we learning? We're learning lots of different things. So far, we've done a guessing game. I've given you clues, and you guess the card. We've done, you choose, I've given you two things, and you've chosen which one you like better and why, the reason why. We've done a... Another game where I've given you four things and you've chosen which one of those doesn't belong with the other three and why. We did dictation cards, which you listened and wrote. You listened and spoke. You did it all by yourself and you took a quiz. So we've done lots of things to use English. All right. Yes, lots of things to use English. I almost said that word. I can't say that word today. Now... For our next activity, a conversation between Joe and Sue. Two people, Joe and Sue, having a conversation. And there will be four steps to Joe and Sue's conversation, which we say, Lolly's Revenge. Larissa needs the cards. Larissa, you need a kiss. Mwah. You need a kiss from me, Larissa. Mwah. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Larissa, thank you so much for your kind, kind support. As always, Larissa, I will send you the cards today when we finish. Thank you so much for your kind support. Mwah, Larissa, a supporter, a big supporter, just like Mrs. G. They are part of the green team and they are giving me extra support. Thank you so much. Good, good, good. Well, Lolly is not here. She's in the hospital still. So, Lolly, I hope you feel better soon. Lolly, I hope you get home soon. All right, Lolly, this, you've been in the hospital for a long time. So, so we, we wish you the best. We wish you a speedy recovery, um, Lolly. So, this is for you. This is Lolly's Revenge. I hope you are watching. Well, I'm sure you're not watching right now, but I hope you will be watching this later in your free time, okay? Here we go. Lolly's Revenge. Four steps. I should write the steps on the board. That way I can check them off when we finish. So let's do that. I need space. Four. Let's see. We could do it right here. Right there. I'll move my books. These are my books. You can get at Amazon.com. We have space right here for Lolly's Revenge. I will put dash marks right here. So we have four steps. Conversation. This is the conversation between Joe and Sue. If you want me to say the conversation again, you say OMT one more time. If you want me to read it slower, you say MS more slowly. If you are ready to move to the next step, which is question time, you say last time, I will read it for the last time, then we will go to the, the questions. So LT, last time. Step two, question time. Questions. We call that QT. 
I will ask you questions about the conversation to check your comprehension, to check, to see how well you understood the conversation. We call that QT, question time. Step three, reading. We will read it together. I will show you the conversation. You will see it. I will put the conversation up to the... Maria, welcome to the green team. Hold on, Maria. I will hold the conversation up to the camera. We will read it together. Yes, we will. Reading. Then step four, we will shadow the conversation. We will say this, the conversation. We will practice speaking by saying the conversation, shadowing. So there are four steps to Lolly's Revenge. Maria, welcome to the green team. We have a new member. We have a new green member. Yay. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for supporting me so I can support you. Thank you. Welcome to our family, our community, our green team. You are now special. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maria. Yay. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome to our team. Yes, Maria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. Here we go. Step one. I will read the conversation. This is Joe. Say hello to Joe. This is Sue. Say hello to Sue. Hello, Joe. Hello, Sue. Here we go. Joe is first. Sue, let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great, then it's decided. We better start preparing for our drive. Yes, Maria, you are the green team. Yes, part of our green team. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Salute, salute. Let's do it again. OMT, OMT, one more time, one more time. Here is Joe. Sue, let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great, then it's decided. We better start preparing for our drive. What do you want to do? OMT, LT, QT, what shall we do? What shall we do? Are you ready for questions? Larissa, OMTMS. Okay, sounds good. Larissa is a green member, and I listen to the green team. So Larissa says, OMTMS. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go OMTMS. One more time. More slowly. Here we go. Sue. Let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great, then it's 
decided we'd better start preparing for our drive. Okay, Dr. Ramirez, OMTMS. Michelle, MT. MT, what's MT? Vilmar, OMT. Gaga, MS. You know Lake Mary, Tomas? Do you know Lake Mary? It's a, it's a real place, Tomas. It's a real place. It's special to me. Okay. Okay. Here we go. OMTMS. Sue, let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great. Then it's decided we'd better start preparing for our drive tomas google california lake mary and you will see the place okay 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 lt almost ready Let's do it. LT, everyone. LT. Then we're going to do question time. Here we go. LT. Last time. Last time. Sue, let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great. Then it's decided. We'd better start preparing for our drive. Tomas, Lake Mary is in Mammoth, Mammoth. Next to Bishop, Bishop, California, Mammoth Lakes, Mammoth Lakes, and Lake Mary is in Mammoth Lakes. Here we go. Question time. Yes, Rita, QT. Yes, Giovanni, QT. Yes, Rita, Lake Mary. Question time, question time, question time. There are four questions. Question one, in the chat, write one and then the question or the answer, right? One and the answer. Here we go. Question number one. What does Joe suggest? Question one. What does Joe suggest? Michelle, we see the updated, and you are talking in order to understand. Michelle, I'm not sure what you are saying. Good, Tomas. Question number one. What does Joe suggest? What does Joe suggest? Radu, Joe suggests taking a drive to the countryside. Helga, Joe suggests to take a drive to the countryside. Gaga, take a drive, take a ride. Yes. Take, take a drive, drive a car. 
drive a car to the countryside. Drive a car. Emily, take a drive to the countryside. Yes, Dr. Ramirez, he suggested take a drive to the countryside. Tomas, he suggested to make a trip to the countryside. Good. Marion, Joe suggested to take a drive to the countryside. Yes, Rita, picnic close to Lake Mary. Good. Michelle, he suggested to take a drive. Take a drive. Friend, Joe offers to go picnicking. Good. Norman, Norman, how you doing? Norman, I see Norman in, in the comment section of my videos. Good to see Norman here in the live stream. Norman, welcome, welcome. Vilmar, he suggested to take a drive to the countryside. Yes, Alice, Joe suggested driving to the countryside. Well done. Question two, question two. What does Joe, where does Joe want to picnic? Where does Joe want to picnic? Yes, Larissa. He suggested to take a drive to the countryside. Question two. Where does Joe want to picnic? Where does Joe want to picnic? Hen, can, can ask, can ask one. Suggest two is good or. I'm not sure of your question, Henna. Can, can, can ask one. Suggest two is good or. I-N-G. Suggest is to give your idea. Suggest is to give your idea. For example, I think we should go to Lake Mary. I suggest we go to Lake Mary. So suggest is to give your idea, to give your opinion, to give a suggestion, to give your thinking, to express your idea. Giovanni, Joe wants to go to Lake Mary. Yes, Marion, a picnic in, or a picnic close to Lake Mary, a picnic beside Lake Mary. Maria, our new green team, Go to Lake Mary. Yes, go to Lake Mary. Joe, Joe wants to picnic at Lake Mary. Joe wants to picnic at Lake Mary. Joe wants to picnic at Lake Mary. Dr. Ramirez, Joe wants to picnic close to Lake Mary. Good. Vilmar, Joe wants to picnic close to at Lake Mary. In Lake Mary, we're in the water, right? Not in Lake Mary, but we could say at Lake Mary. At. Not in, but at. At. Tomas, he wants to picnic next to Lake Mary. Tomas, we do not say do picnic, we just say picnic. The verb to picnic, that's a verb. He wants to picnic next to Lake Mary. At Lake Mary. Emily, at Lake Mary. At Lake Mary. Dr. Ramirez, Joe wants to picnic close to Lake Mary. Perfect. Tomas, he prefer, his preferred destination is Lake Mary. His preferred destination is Lake Mary. Good, good. His preferred destination is Lake Mary. Good sentence there, Tomas. 
Larissa, go to Lake Mary. Go to Lake Mary. Go to Lake Mary. Larissa, go to Lake Mary. Marion, a picnic close to Lake Mary. <laughs> Marion, a, a picnic close to Lake Mary. Good. Rita, he would like to go picnic close to Lake Mary. Yes, Emily, at Lake Mary. Good. Tomas, he wants to picnic at Lake Mary. Perfect. Okay. Question three. Have they been there recently? Have they been there recently? Question three. Have they been there recently? Question three. Have they been there recently? Have they been there recently? Question three. Have they been there recently? Have they been there recently? Have they been there recently? I can't say that word, Miha. Your last word, I can't say that. <laughs> I cannot say, your destiny is close to Lake Mary. I can't say the next word. Radu, they have not been there in a while. Perfect. Larissa, go to Lake Mary. Yes. Helga, no, they haven't been there in a while. KVP, no, they haven't. Henna, they haven't been there in a while. Dr. Maris, no, they haven't been there recently. Good, 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 good. Maria, not yet. That is wrong. They have been there, but not in a while. Not yet means they have never been there. Have you been to Lake Mary? Not yet. That means I have never been there. Not yet. I have never been there. Have you been to the Andes? Not yet. <laughs> I want to go someday. I will go, but I haven't been there yet. Marion, no, they haven't been there in a while. Tomas, they haven't been there. They haven't been in the countryside recently. Okay, okay. Alice, no, they haven't been there in a while. Rita, no, they haven't been there in a while. Tomas, they have not been there in a while. Larissa, no, they haven't been there recently. Gaga, they have never... No, Gaga, they have been there, but not in a while. They have been there, but not in a while. Michelle, for a long time, they did not visit that place. Okay, Michelle, for a long time, they did not visit that place. Giovanni, they haven't been there in a while. Maria, good, good. Not yet means you haven't been there, but you want to. You plan on it. You're, you, you're, it's in the future. You will go in the future, but to this point, you haven't been there. Good. Let's go to question four. Question four, everyone. This is our last question. Question four. When are they going? When are they going? When are they going? When are Joe and Sue going to Lake Mary? When are Joe and Sue going to Lake Mary? When are they going? Vilmar, they haven't been there for a while. Good. Jod, they haven't been there in a while. Good, good. Emily, they haven't been there in a while. Good. Helga, they are going tomorrow. Radu, 
They are going to Lake Mary tomorrow. KVP. They are going tomorrow. Helga, tomorrow. Dr. Ramirez, they are going tomorrow. Tomas, they are going to go tomorrow. Alice, they are going to the countryside tomorrow. We don't buy tomorrow. We, we don't use buy tomorrow. For this situation, for this, I will go by, they are, by tomorrow, it's like a deadline. You need to finish this by tomorrow. So a deadline, for example, schoolwork, a report, something you need to finish. It's a deadline. You need to finish this by tomorrow. So after, in two days, it's too late. This must be done by tomorrow. That's when we use by tomorrow or by. Uh, they go to Lake Mary tomorrow. Friend, they are going to Lake, tom they are going to Lake Mary tomorrow. Rita, they're going there tomorrow. Good. Marion. They are going tomorrow. Maria, they are going tomorrow. Larissa, they are going tomorrow. Felipe, they are going to Lake Mary tomorrow. Ketley, they are going to get married tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they will get married. I don't know. But... They are going to Lake Mary tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Dr. Maris. Oh, okay. You need to rest. Dr. We're almost finished anyways. Dr. Maris, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. I will see you next time, Dr. Maris. Take care. Have a good weekend, Dr. Maris. Stay healthy. Stay happy. <laughs> Stay safe. Oh, Rita, the reason tomorrow. Rita says tomorrow because they need to prepare for their drive. Yes, they can't just go today because it's maybe far, so they need to prepare first, so they will go tomorrow. Good. Fran, they are going tomorrow. Perfect. Good job. Michelle, for a while, they did not visit that place. Okay. Michelle, for a long time, they, didn't, they have not visited that place this is better okay michelle for a long time they have not visited that place in a long time they have not visited that place for a long time they have not visited that place good i have not checked our boxes no i haven't Conversation, OMT, MSLT is finished. Question time is finished. Now it's time for reading. Yay, reading. I will hold the conversation to the camera. Let's read it together, shall we? Let's read it together, shall we? Here we go. Joe is first. Sue, let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great. Then it's decided. We better start preparing for our drive. Let's do it one more time. Let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great. Then it's decided. 
we'd better start preparing for our drive. Yes, we should. We should start preparing because it's a long trip. We have to go to the supermarket. We have to buy food for our picnic. We have to gather some things for our, pic for our picnic. A, a blanket, a picnic blanket, a picnic basket. We need utensils. We need things for our picnic. <laughs> we should check the car, make sure there is gas in the car. Make sure the oil is, is full. We need, maybe we want to wash our car. Maybe we want to clean the windows because there's going to be some beautiful scenery. So we need to prepare. <laughs> good, 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 good. Gaga. Mwah. Good night, Gaga. We just read it. Yes, we did. Let's check the reading part. We did it. Now it's shattering time. Let's shadow. That is speaking practice. Here we go, shadowing. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, shadowing. Sue, let's take a drive to the countryside. Let's take a drive to the countryside. Let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Any place in particular? Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. We haven't been there in a while. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? When do you want to go? When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? How about tomorrow? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. I think my calendar is open tomorrow. I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great. Then it's decided. Great. Then it's decided. Great. Then it's decided. We'd better start preparing for our drive. 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 <laughs> All right, that was... I just said the word, no, no. I just said, all right, no. I almost did it. I thought I could do it. I thought I could say, I, I thought I could not say all right for the rest of the lesson. I couldn't. Oh, I almost, we're almost finished. I can't believe it. That's really hard for me not to say all right. It's very, very difficult for me to not say that word. Oh, no, I, I couldn't do it. I could, oh, I, almost, almost I did it. Oh, I'm angry. Ah, I'm angry with myself. I can't believe it. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, okay. We're, we got like two minutes. I couldn't do it. I, uh, whew. Shadow, we did shadow. I'm, I'm very sad. I'm very sad. I couldn't go without saying all right for two hours. I couldn't do it. 
Ah, let's look at the conversation one more time. Ah, here we go. Sue, let's take a drive to the countryside. Any place in particular? Let's picnic close to Lake Mary. That would be nice. We haven't been there in a while. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow? I think my calendar is open tomorrow. Great, then it's decided. We better start preparing for our drive. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it, Miha. I can't believe it. I thought it is. It's impossible to avoid that word. You're right, Vilmar. It was hard for me. So my challenge was not to say all right, because I say it often. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready? All right, all right. How about the next video? All right, how about our next activity? All right, all right. So I challenged myself not to say all right, and it was hard. I was in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, don't say it that. Don't say that, Mark. Don't say that, Mark. Don't say it. I almost, many times, I almost said it, but I caught myself. Okay, don't say that word. But then it just came out. I couldn't catch myself. Oh. <laughs> Radu, thank you so much. Larissa, Maria, thank you for joining our new member. Thank you so much, Maria. Mwah. Love you, Maria. Thank you so much. Mrs. G, thank you for your kind, kind sticker. Same with Larissa. Thank you, thank you for your kind, kind support. Everyone, thank you for being here. It's Friday. The weekend is coming up. Be safe. Be happy. Be like Maria. Join the green team. Come on, let's make it grow. Support me so I can support you. Support me so I can support you. Yeah, it's a win-win situation. <laughs> yeah, okay. Rita says, Mark, I need to rest because tomorrow I need to take my mother to see a doctor. That's right. In Brazil, it is after midnight. Here in Japan, it is 12.23 or something. Where p.m., afternoon. In Brazil, it's in the morning. So, Rita, thank you. Get to bed. Get your rest. All right. Oh, I just said all right. I can't. Vilmar, I, it, I can't avoid it, can I, Vilmar? I cannot avoid it. I'm disappointed in myself that I couldn't go without saying all right. <laughs> I just wanted to say it now. I almost said all right. It's almost like, like I'm confirming to myself. Emily. Mwah. Thank you, Emily. Emily, do I have your email? If I have your, you can send me your email address and it'll be safe. It'll be hidden. If you send me, Emily, if you send me your email address right now in the chat, I will send you these cards. If you want the cards, give me your email address. If you put it right now in the chat, it'll be covered. No one will see it. Only I We'll see it. All right, Emily. So thank you, Emily. Emily's up on the board. Yeah. Emily, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mwah. Vilmar, you're in Brazil too. So it's early in the morning for a lot of people. Thank you so much. It's inconvenient time, Emily. I just there's your 100%. Thank you, Emily. It, it, it for many of you it's an inconvenient time, so I really really appreciate you guys are here in your inconvenient time. Radu, it's it's a really strong habit. It is. It's a strong habit. It's ingrained in my brain to say all right. Like I was saying, it, when I say all right, I'm using that to reconfirm my thinking. Say all right, so I'm reconfirming. I have an idea. When I say all right, that means I am reconfirming that idea. 
to you, actually. I'm reconfirming it to me and to you. So that's, that's, when, that's when I say, all right. When I think and I go, okay, that's a good idea. I will tell you and I say, all right. <laughs> okay. Let's say goodbye together, shall we? Good idea. Yes. Emily, have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Mwah. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's say goodbye together. I think that's a good idea. Let's count down. Thank you, Radu. Take care. You too. It's Friday here in Japan. That means the weekend is coming. So everyone have a good weekend. Be safe. Be happy. Be kind. And life will be good. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just said all right. Let's say goodbye together, shall we? Good, good. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, everyone. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.